Welcome back to the mix on ABD. Today we have an unboxing of a Warwick bass, a Corvette rock bass basic with active pickups. Very exciting stuff in blue. So we have a knife and we have a box. So why don't we open it up? So this is actually interesting. It opens up on the side here, not on the top. So we'll pull it out this way. And we have this smaller box inside. And there you get your first look at what's inside. You have a gig bag, of course, of course. And on that gig bag, you have the Rock Base branding on the zipper and right there. And it's actually very nice and patty. You have a lot of cushion and it feels nice and protected in there. And then inside here, the base is actually protected with more material to keep it extra, extra safe during travel. And inside you have the base. Very exciting. Rubber band, be gone. And now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Your first look. A Warwick Rock Bass Corvette Basic in Ocean Blue with a maple neck and a wange fretboard. That fretboard is incredible. Wange is not a very common fretboard material. You don't see that very often, but it looks absolutely crazy. It looks so cool. It has a finish on top of it to make it nice and smooth. And you have some stripes on the back there and a volute on the neck there. It is a bass guitar, so it is a long scale. The neck is a satin finish and it feels amazing. It's a very tiny, very rounded neck, which for people like me, I'm a big fan of basses that have a smaller, rounded neck. It's really easy to get around. I don't like my basses to be too big. Another thing about Warwick basses that you may or may not know is that the bodies are very contoured and very rounded, very thin. In this case, it's an alder body. You have two single coil active type pickups in the guitar and a satin finish on that alder body and a two piece 3D Warwick bridge, which looks so cool. It's like a high mass bridge here. You have a very cool engineered tailpiece right there with a W for Warwick and you have really easy adjustment seemingly right there. You have one, two, three, four knobs and we can go over what they do. They are volume, balance, treble, and bass. So you have a kind of three band EQ or a two band EQ and a tone knob and then a volume knob. And they feel really nice to turn. They're not too loose, nice and smooth. Hopefully the taper on them is good and there's no push pull. They are active pickups. So on the back here, you have a battery compartment for your battery, for the pickups. Four bolt on for the neck with a contour to make it easy to get up there. And then your strap buttons up here that came with the locks. And then up here, you have the Warwick shaped headstock with the tuners that kind of angle down. A very, very nice tiny nut and a very nice cover over the truss rod adjustment that says Corvette and then Warwick rock base right there. So overall, the quality and the finish, again, the satin finish is very, very nice. Um, you can see the grain of the alder through it, and I think it looks really, really cool. I think Warwick's bass shape is a great shape. It's a little bit inspired by like a jazz bass with the single coil pickups and a little bit of the shape. It's like if you shave down and very much contour a jazz bass. Again, that neck feels incredible, the satin finish and the shape. The Wange fretboard looks so good. And then you have 24 frets that are very, very polished and clean looking, super shiny. No sharp ends whatsoever, super smooth, and the frets have that kind of rounded ball end to them. And uh, again, that nut is really nice quality. I think it is a graphite nut. The radius of the fretboard is 20 inches, so it's really very, very flat. So let's check out how that feels and get a little bit of a tone demo. This video is mostly just an unboxing. We are gonna do a part two full review next week. So if you're looking forward to that, please like or subscribe. But let's go ahead and plug it in and get a quick sound demo for this video before we wrap it up. So I didn't even tune it up, it came in tune, so that's pretty impressive stuff. It feels really, really great to play. It's not heavy at all, it's a very light bass. And it's very clear, the setup is perfect, it's intonated 
perfectly from the factory. There's no buzz whatsoever up and down the fretboard. Obviously no dead frets. 24 frets. Those pickups sound incredible, really. They're great, clear, articulate sounding. The neck feels immaculate to play. I absolutely love that neck. The body is so tiny and wonderfully contoured that it sits on your lap beautifully, and it sounds great, looks good. Finish, that blue finish is beautiful. Ocean blue, almost kind of purpley, a little purpley. But what do you think? We're gonna save a lot of it for the full review, do more of a deep dive, but thank you for watching. For now, thank you to Warwick for sending it out. And until next time, play bass, be awesome, and stay tuned to the channel for all your music and guitar needs. Warwick sent it out for us to take a look at it. So we have a knife and we have a box. Whoa! The radius of... The radius of the fretboard is... <clears throat> the radius of the fretboard is 20 inches.